Good morning, my poker face. Say good morning. Hi, YouTube friends. Good morning, guys. He wasn't um crying a lot like he has usually been doing in the middle of the night. Look at how he's staring at himself. So that was pretty good. So last night, I made Desmond some coffee so he can, you know, make himself coffee when he wakes up and I left him this little note right here and it says I made you coffee my love hope you enjoy and have a great day if you want me to <laughs> if you want me to um, make you coffee wake me up I love you so much right and then I got this so let me read it to you as much as I love life I would gladly die for what matters most Kiara you and my boys matter the most Des so I thought that was just so freaking adorable. I was cheesing so hard. It's just so cute. By the way, I'm about to work out. Uh, I got my outfits on and I put on some sneakers so I can work out right now because Jared was sleeping. Is such a TV boy look at him with his mouth open if you guys know me you know I am always with my mouth open like when I'm washing dishes I'll just be like or <laughs> when I'm cooking and when I'm watching a good movie or TV period yeah Desmond's always like close your mouth girl cuz I always have my mouth open I don't know why this little boy is just like his mama he sleeps with his eyes open I've been told I sleep with my eyes open, like, supposedly I sleep like this. And people say that they think that I'm awake, but I'm sleeping. And he does the same thing. And he sleeps with his, both of his hands underneath his ears, like, I can't do it. But, okay, let's say my other hand wasn't on top of this one. He sleeps like that. Like me. I sleep like a baby. Sometimes. Oh, he's so cute. Look at them lips. Look at them lips, you're so cute. Look at them. He's not even looking at himself. You know that he's concentrated because he always stares at himself. What are you looking at, Pokebass? I'm about to print out a copy of Desmond's order so I can take it to the office and put in our two months notice. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is really happening. Tomorrow we have an appointment <laughs> to winterize our car. I don't know what the F that means, but I'm going to Google it. Um, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with like it it's it basically works in the cold like or something like that like if you don't have your car winterized your car will freeze <laughs> in Alaska or something like that but you have to have it winterized um what else then Friday I have an appointment for Jericho uh, because his his scalp is really 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 dry me and Desmond have really dry scalps which freaking sucks so Jericho came out with that and I am not liking it and I'm concerned about it so I'm gonna see if she can get me like prescribe something for her scalp look at them cheeks so I wrapped saran wrap around my stomach this is actually called the cling wrap which I know plenty of you seen and it's this one right here it probably costs the most two dollars and I put it around my stomach and this is how it looks. It kind of went up in the back, but this is how it looks and it flattens your tummy. I have been putting this on a lot and I'm going to try to put it on every single day. <laughs> working out again i just did a couple of things i didn't like really go hard 
as I did in the morning. And I'm about to drink my detox water and my bra is always showing. Look at how pretty these veggies look. Oh, I love all three of these veggies. Like these are my favorite veggies ever, ever, ever. And right now, you already know, I always use this grill. I'm about to make my chicken since Desmond said he's on his way. Oh, don't you love hearing that? I'm recording you. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too. Ew! Uh, what? Stop! I was recording. He's so disgusting. No, life. that's nasty. Okay, you could be sexy for your wife, but keep that. S shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna be sexy for your wife. Yeah, I'm gonna be sexy for your wife. First of all, we only have like 11% male watching us, and I and they don't even comment, so. He's nasty. Ew. I miss my wife. It's not nasty. Anyways, look at Desmond. He just got home. We gotta talk. <gasps> Nobody likes to hear that. <laughs> right? I'm just it's kidding. It's probably right. about Alaska. So this is Desmond's dinner for her. You guys can see what I made. Broccoli, carrots, corn, chicken, and baked potato with cheese and bacon bites. And I have the same thing. It's very yummy. I already tasted it. His eyes, is his face. Same time. Anyway, I, I can't, I can't mimic that one. Hold on, let me get his face. I can't see that shit. Look how he stares at his dad. Daddy can sing, baby. I'm more can sing. Daddy can sing. Yes, 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 more. She turned away from me. He's holding back. He's hiding. And what I can't decide why words would he be the king? I know he is. We want to discuss some. Um, we want to discuss some issues that we're seeing on TV. <laughs> Not that loud. You said loud. Um, I guess about the Ray Rice situation, and uh, also now the Adrian Peterson about how they're doing. Um, I guess how to handle it about the everything. It's just crazy. Um, they stopped sponsoring. What's his name? The Adrian Peterson. Be, they, uh, Bud Light stopped sponsoring him because of what he did to his son, supposedly, because he hit him. But a lot of people drink and do violent shit. So they're doing violent stuff because of your product. Right. Um, McDonald's dropped them. Uh, Campbell's Soup, a few other ones. General Motors. And what I try to explain to people is that once you're part of the NFL or any organ organization like that, you represent them. And you have to be careful what you do. You're in you the know? public eye. Yeah, so like, and I, I, I told people, I think me and my friend was uh, 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 discussing the matter. The worst thing I can do or a man could do is leave the girl. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought like there's always more than one more than one way to um what's the word called evolve situation or just go matter. about a situation yeah you know what i mean can you edit that i hate when i do that no, it's fine. anyway but um <laughs> yeah so like um i i mean i saw the uh other video last week when i was in the field everybody played on the bus some people thought it was funny um what you don't know about me is um that i grew up in a um abusive household and i never condone a guy beating a woman 
You know what I'm saying? But on that same matter, I have no problem with a man defending himself. You know what I'm saying? For um, sure. Away and run. Yeah, yeah you Especially, know what I mean? Oh, sorry, it's, sweetie. Don't you good? It's, Especially when you're in the public eye. Like, if okay, it's one thing that you feel like hitting her back, but if you're in the public eye, push that B-I-T-C-H and run before she makes you want to hit her even more. Because, can you I, see me? Because it's pretty dark over here. Yeah, I can lighten it with the editing. She's she, she calling me dark. But yeah, I just, I just don't condone any of that. Um... I can be honest and say that I've I've had situations where I have defended myself. Um, it could have been worse. You know, I was a little younger then, but I like I said, I grew up in a in a in a, in a bad situation like that, so I would never like you know resort to that. But um, um, defending yourself, I don't think I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, push her off of you. You know, whatever, whatever. I honestly don't feel like we should be touching anybody anyway. Because, exactly. Girls, right. that's another thing. There's a lot of girls out there that freaking like to hit the guy when they're drunk or whatever. Like, they go in. I've seen, even in public, a lot of people freaking hitting their guy because of some dumb shit. So, a lot of girls think that it's okay to hit guys, and it's not. And it's not okay for a guy to hit a girl. Yeah, it's not okay to hit. You ain't their mother, and you ain't their father, so... Real talk. Okay, well, let's 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 switch over to the uh, Adrian Peterson um, thing. Um, we were talking about that. No, oh, well, we, oh, we oh yeah, about, we, no, we changed the subject. <laughs> yeah, because there's two. So, um, okay. I just I just patted him on the back. I didn't, I didn't abuse him. Um... <laughs> I, I grew up, um, my my grandmother and my mother, we, we, used, we used to get beaten. I used to run, um, they hit you with what the, uh, whatever is available. I used to get hit with a yeah. sandal. <laughs> that shit used to always, <laughs> even from a distance, <laughs> even from a distance, that shit used to always hit you. Hispanics can grab anything and throw it at you. No matter how far they are, they will catch you. <laughs> I have two kids. Um, I believe that discipline is very important. It's it's just it's just part of it. Um, I don't actually now I'm trying not to um uh uh we say beat him. <laughs> Anyways, Jesse, by the way, because she was laughing about uh, one of the videos that you had a toilet paper right next to you, and I'm like, whose toilet paper is that? That's yours. Look at this toilet paper in the living room. Desmond. Why is that me? How, this how, is you. Yes. Who was it? I promise not. It was not me. Maybe it's not me. I'm serious. It was a ghost. Was that me? Discipline is important. I I don't go as hard as my grandmother uh, went or my mother, but it it needs to be instilled in a household. So you you know your kids won't get out of line. You don't want them going to school acting crazy. Think that there's no consequences for their actions. Um, I might raise my voice a little bit, time out, stuff like that, but, you know, very seldom. I haven't had to really get my, my oldest son, Jared, I mean, uh, a decori until... Oh, he's spitting up. Oh. Where's his bib, sweetheart? Oh, uh, right there. Are we going to edit that part out? No, it's fine. Oh. Baby spit up. <laughs> um, and we have a conversation in the morning before he goes to school. You don't touch anybody, you don't hit, and you don't fight. Just I got a call, like, yeah, he, uh, did something bad, and, um... Yeah, I got his little butt right in that bathtub with the belt. You know, I was I was really furious. But guys, I got he did there. not abuse him. He got the belt, <laughs> and he was he literally like two seconds after. Like I I guess he like kind of gave him a little pop on the butt, but he came out the bathroom literally like two seconds later, and he was like, "Oh, this reminds me of my mom." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when she used to hit me. <laughs> And he's like, oh, I can't do it, you. I can't, I can't. Husband's the type of person, the type of man and daddy that you could just raise your voice, tell them something, and they start crying. So he doesn't even need to, like, do all that extra stuff <laughs> unless they do something crazy. But he doesn't need to do it. Yeah. You know when you tell Corey something or, like, about time out, <laughs> you could even... Yeah. Even look at him and he'll start crying. <laughs> oh, 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 y'all ain't never seen me in daddy mode, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, um, I think one day we was at Target in the parking lot and he had, I don't know, he was being really, I don't know, I, I think he was tired, but he was acting real disrespectful and I promise I pulled my belt out of my, out of my, arm oh, yeah. and one freaking motion, I was about to get it in. And when you lost your mind, and I always love to say this, if you lost your mind, daddy gonna help you find it. 
Don't tell me. Speak of the devil. Hold on. Hello? Hey, Dad. Hey, Core. I was just talking about you. What you doing? And this You tack with good job. How's school going? That's good. What you learning? What are you learning? Oh, that's oh I remember that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, we forgot what we were talking about because we were talking to Corey on the phone. Beating our children. <laughs> no, that's not good. In case you didn't know, you was wondering, I, Daddy beats ass. Okay? I beat ass. No, he doesn't. Well, I try to. Mm, I just doesn't. talk loud and then act like I'm going to do something. He's to be laughing. And he laughs. He laughs when I talk loud. That's crazy. But Corey's like, oh no, daddy crazy. <laughs> Anyways, what else are we going to be talking about? Oh, that was pretty it. ISIS. I don't want to talk about that. That shit is scary. <laughs> They're talking about sending U.S. troops over there. Just Google it. I honestly don't want to talk about it either. Uh, I brought it up earlier, but. Um, that's, that's probably, I think, her worst fear is us moving to Alaska and I have to get deployed. That's over there while this shit is going on yeah, that's if weird. you guys no mm -mm. but um i just, have to i have to YouTube. constantly explain to my wife that this is what i do i've been deployed four times guys um two to afghanistan and two to uh iraq um i have a purple heart and i have two combat action badges um so i have definitely seen action but um, I've made it and you know, this, this is the life that I've chose to provide for my family to protect my country and if called upon, I mean, I have to do what I have to do, but uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully not. I, I never want to, I know. just, I mean, uh, anything can happen over there regardless if we're in war or whatever, but the shit that's going on right now, I wouldn't want Desmond to go. It's like OD, sweetheart. With with what's going on? With, I'm not cussing. You said shit. So? You said the shit that's going on right now. It is shit. It's freaking shit. It's crazy. Why the hell does everybody get into fucking problems with us? Hey, I don't know. Or why do we get involved with them? Yeah. And like Obama was saying today, for instance, like yeah. when somebody needs help, what do they go to? The U.S. But we're in debt like OD. But everybody goes to us because we're like the perfect country to everybody in their eyes. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to have to be moving out of this freaking country if... Well, we're we're in Alaska, so that's like another country. <laughs> I look at it the same way as my wife does, but um, on the bright note, you know, I just try to spend as much time with my uh, with my family as possible. You know, um, that's why we're doing the trips, and we're gonna go see everything together. And our our uh, anniversary is coming up next month, so you know, I I keep it positive, you know, and I just look on the bright side. That should be the case. I love you. You too. Mwah. I don't even want to wear clothes when I be black. I want to look nice. Guys, do you mind him in his uniform? I feel like that's a cool thing to wear. See my uniform? I'm a tan t shirt. He doesn't like to wear his uniform I because do. he I feels, do. you know, it's it's like us, for instance, when we work, we don't want to wear the uniform or the clothes that we had on at work. So that's how he feels. First of all, if anybody works fast food or McDonald's and you wear your uniform out, nobody kind of fucking talk to you guys, all right? Nobody asks you for a Big Mac, all right? When I'm in my uniform... <laughs> <laughs> I want a Big Mac. <laughs> when I'm in my uniform, you know, everybody... And she's going to vlog one day and you'll see. You would have thought that I was a superstar. I promise, like, everybody always comes up to me. Oh, thanks for what you're doing. And, you know, they, um, if we're at a restaurant, they're buying shit. Hey, can we buy you? you know, My sister meal? was in a, what was she? In Denny's with her husband. And he was wearing his Navy uniform. <laughs> and some guy paid for their um, whole, all of their food. I'm, I'm coming to you guys. I, I like to be comfortable. Like, I'm still in my uniform. I want to put on some basketball shorts and a fitted cap. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, are we going to end the vlog here? Anyways, we're going to end the vlog. 
I need to send this thing to the girl that won the giveaway. I need to start my. I know. I need to start my drawings for my giveaway winners for YouTube. I haven't even started yet. I have a lot of shit to do. Editing takes forever. I wish I could just like do it in like three minutes, but I can't. What do you have to say? Hey, just stay positive. Um, I encourage everybody to try to be uh, better the next day than they were the day before. You know, um, some days are harder than the others, and you just keep striving, you know, and it'll always be a brighter day. Be happy that you're alive. Be happy that you are in this world, because even though it's cruel, it's a beautiful fucking world. I do curse a lot, but it's a beautiful world. I just, I just like, okay, I know I'm talking again. I said I was going to say bye, but I asked you guys if we should do that road trip to Arizona and Colorado or whatever. And I Googled Colorado and Arizona. I already know how it, it looks in pictures, but I Googled it again to like remind myself, like, should we go there? Yeah, we got it. See, I It was so you, freaking pretty. So we're going. Yes. And we're going to film the whole thing. So you guys, it's like, it's like you're coming with us. Road yes. trip. <laughs> Some girl was like, you guys should totally vlog. Uh, I am so going to vlog for you guys. Because she said uh, some of us will never see those places yeah. either. So we're going to vlog everything for everything. you guys. Everything. 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 I'm going to make sure that the hotels we're going to be in have Wi-Fi. So I can edit. Yeah. So. And a jacuzzi for the nasty. Why do you have to be so nasty? I want some nasty so Ew, what? Ew. Anyways, <laughs> good night, guys. We love you guys so much. I'm sorry if we are a little bit too personal, but not sorry because that's just <laughs> us. Um, but yeah. Do you love them? We Murray now, so it's. it's oh, I'm, I need to come up with another thing because that's D's thing. She goes like this. Give me some example or not, a, not examples. Give us something that we probably could do. Uh, for our anniversary. I've never had an anniversary before. It's my first I one. haven't either. Yeah, so I'm not sure we sure what we're supposed to do. <laughs> I have no idea, sweetie. Seriously. I probably should say that to you. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I don't know either. I've never had a wedding anniversary. I don't know. Is that bad? We're like we're so bad uh, because I'm pretty sure people we're, plan we're their new, anniversary. Right? I'm pretty sure people plan their what anniversary. Do you think she does, I don't mind staying home with Jericho and making a good dinner and having a Candle light here, but anyways, oh, yeah. for the third time or the fourth, whatever. Good night, and thank you guys so much for watching. I never thought that all of you guys would actually watch our channel when I first started, because I, like I always say, I think that I'm boring. And whenever I'm editing, I'm like, this is a boring video. But I you knew guys you was gonna watch me. I knew you. I'm like, hey, the camera but you guys me. seem to love it. So thank you guys so much I'm for photogenic. watching. You know, I, I already know y'all coming. You know, I'm sitting to see your boy. I'll tell him and this boy. Anyways, good night, guys. We love you. Bye. Say bye, Jericho. Bye, baby. Say bye to the toilet paper back he, there. He eating them fingers. Look at the toilet. <laughs> good night, guys. That's, that's spousal abuse. You saw that? <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. He's such a dweeb. <laughs>